All right, so does this look okay? Yeah, man, you look good. This is all right. You're looking, you're looking, you're looking, looking hot. Besides the sleepy bags. It's right. Okay, you should see mine. You want me to introduce you? Like, do you or do you want? Do you want to introduce yourself? Your mug is amazing. I don't know. Way. What'd you say? I said your mug is amazing. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with one of the most amazing legendary human beings on this planet. You know him, you love him. He's been part of our community and the WoW community at large for decades, it seems. It's the one and only culture. And how the heck are you, my man? Well, well, well. Look who it is, Brutalus Maximus. I am well, my friend. How are you? I'm giggly. That's. <laughs> Are you? Do you have the giggles? Does Brutal have the giggles? <laughs> Anytime right, I'm in your presence, digitally or otherwise, I yes. have I have the giggles. I can't help it, man. I can't help it. This is gonna be a crazy episode, Brutal. This episode? is gonna be a little nutty. <laughs> this is not a. This episode. is gonna be a little nutty. We're just this episode. That episode would indicate there's gonna be more than one. Oh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> And you said it, not me. I don't want to. I don't want to jump to any conclusions here. <laughs> right. So, what are we doing here today, Brutal? What What is our reason for coming together today? To watch me giggle. I mean, that's the only thing I'm gonna be doing, uh, man. That's right. That's what we're here to do. <laughs> laughing right. maniacally. Uh, so I don't know. So this is actually my wife's bright idea, and I, I say that sincerely. That sounded like I was trying to be sarcastic, and let me be clear, not at all. The, the other, <laughs> no, not at all. Like, like, like a month ago, she's like, you know what you should do. And I said a lot of things, but specifically, what are you re referring to? And she said, you should make a video and, and about, about Coltrane, invite him on, and go through all of the sounders that he's ever made for your channel. The follows, the donations, the subs, everything. And I'm like, that's a brilliant idea. It would be hilarious as long as I don't erupt in laughter every five seconds. So I'm going to do my best. To, to hold it in, or at least to lean away from the microphone. So, we'll, yes. uh, but essentially, I want to I want to go through some history here, and we're going to start with the the very 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 first sounder you ever sent me, which actually had nothing to do with the stream or donations or anything like that. And uh, I'm just going to pick your brain if you remember making them. What was your thought process? What was your creative process? Right. And we'll go from there. That's that's really about sounds it. good. Mm. All right. Yeah. Let's give How it a you? shot. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm actually, it's, 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 this is going to be interesting because for those that don't know, mm -hmm. I have been making these little sounders and donations for Brutal. And I did for like for years. Yes. Uh, for we would do ones for like the holidays, like Valentine's Day. We had like Christmas stuff. We had all this other kind of stuff. So I'm actually kind of looking forward to, yeah, you know, man. going back through some of these and, uh, and see what pops. This is going to be crazy. It's going to be a blast from the past here. It really will be. You, you, you've made, I'm not exaggerating when I say this, probably over 100 of them. And that's, that's, that's probably on the low end. You've probably made well over 100. And some of them are right. you know, three, four, five seconds long. Some of them are 30 plus seconds with intricate <laughs> music and sound effects and voice. It's just crazy. So right. but we're going we're gonna to start with the, the original sounder you sent me that, again, has nothing to do with, with anything related to the stream. And I just want to know... Do you even remember making this? Let's play it real quick. Are you ready? Yes. All right. I, I, I hope the... Oh, God. We've checked twice already, by the way. I hope the audio... <laughs> I hope we capture this. Here we go. Manscaping. Yes. Man... Oh, yeah. played it twice. My bad. <laughs> yeah. No, it's... You know, Brutal, this... This is history. What we're listening to right now. You see, you have to understand that in the in the <laughs> annals of history, right? I mean, there are there are certain names, right, that stick out, right? You've got Ludwig von Beethoven, right? You know, you've got Frederick Chopin, you know, which is actually pronounced Chopin because oh, that man. guy on yeah. those keys, you Ooh, know what I'm saying? He was chopping away. the ivories. Yeah, before they were ivories, they were human bones, but. <laughs> So hearing this first one, manscaping, right? This is where it all began. This is the, this is the center. This is the nucleus mm -hmm, of where mm -hmm. it all began. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I actually do remember. So I was watching your stream one night, and, and you were discussing with chat. It might have had something okay. to do with hair. 
Or hair loss, th- maybe? <laughs> well, it's it's possible. See, back then, you had a massive night elf mohawk then. You had a huge... <laughs> for those that don't know Brutal, he had a huge mohawk back then. And he was talking about manscaping. Oh and then God. for some reason, I had the booth next to me. No, but in all seriousness, I did have the booth. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to record manscaping. And I remember I messaged you. I'm like, hey, Brutal, this is Coltrane. Hey, <laughs> hey man, I recorded this little... That's exactly what you sound like. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yes, exactly. And uh, and set it off to you. And seeing your face, you were like, what the? <laughs> this was like our first real like interaction. It was. I think. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, yeah, I, what's that got to be like for you to get in your inbox? It says manscaping.mp3. <laughs> and then you hear this crazy, dark, creepy voice saying, manscaping. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that must like have been him. traumatic for you, right? It's amazing. I, it's funny. I, I I don't remember everything that I felt at that moment in time, but I do remember thinking, feeling two things. Confusion, because I didn't understand what the heck manscaping was or the purpose behind it. And also yes. just unbelievable, just attraction to you in, in that moment. You know, it just <laughs> yes. couldn't. Yes. If I could, if I right. could have leapt through the screen. Oh, man. <laughs> yes, Woo! absolutely. Woo! No, but it... it, and, it, it but- I was going to say, right. it just, and it snowballed from there. I mean, again, 100 plus sounders later, absolutely crazy, but that was the first one. I still got it. I still have all of them, of course, but yeah. That's insane. What else you got? Oh, God, man. So many. Uh, by the way, uh, a a good host or whatever you want to call it probably would have picked like the top 20. No, nah, man, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going for it here. So, right. We're just free balling, man. We're exactly. manscaping this. That's you know what I'm saying? We're just, We're just manscaping around. over here. Absolutely. But uh, a lot of these early ones, I, th- I don't know if we said this before the stream or during this or the, before the recording or, or after the recording, but or during some of these were re- are really rudimentary. Like, which, hey, here's five seconds of Coltrane saying something funny, moving on. And that's what these early ones are. But, and, and we'll get to the ones that have a little bit more flair and, and whatnot. But we're going to we're going to keep it simple. here. Let's see if we I, I think I know what this one is that I'm about to play. Let's see what this one sounds like. Mm, what starts with T? Taco starts with T. <laughs> Am I insane? <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. For some reason, that felt appropriate at the time. <laughs> you have, I, I have a whole song of you singing that. Oh my God. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me see if I can find the one that's the actual like entire song. Uh, I think that's the Cookie Monster. It is. It is the Cookie Monster. I'm, but where the, where is it? Oh, oh, wait a second. Oh, okay. Here's here's a file. That file I just played was um 120 kilobytes. This one that I'm about to play is uh one and a half megs. So I think I think I think that's that's the one. Right. Let's see. We don't have to listen to the whole thing, but we'll see we'll see how it feels while we're playing it. Hmm. What starts with T? Taco starts with T. Let's think of other things that start with T. T is for taco. That's good enough for me. Oh, T <laughs> is for taco. That's good enough for me. Oh, T is for taco. That's good enough for me. Oh, T is for taco. That's good enough for me. Taco, taco, taco starts with T. That's a lot of. That's a lot of tea. <laughs> My glasses are fogging up from laughing so much. Hey, that's, uh, you know what? I really, I went for it, right? I mean, I swung for the fences. Dude, you knocked it I out of the I really park, went man. for it. You, right? Absolutely incredible. I, oh I did that hoping that one day this would never end up on YouTube. <laughs> it was like one of those well, type of things. Yeah, I'm sorry about right? that. Uh, My younger days. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, uh, I would never do something like that. But it's so it's so beautiful, though. I mean, you can't go wrong with with singing like Cookie Monster, right? Right, and and perfectly on key. You know, oh, absolutely. You gotta this is this is before the days of auto tune, right? right? You know, right. This is yep. Before the days of Enrique Iglesias, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? This is a, a different time. You know what I mean? But the, but the Cookie Monster is timeless. That's that insane. I can't believe I did that whole thing. That's insane. You know, you killed it, man. 
Okay. Uh, now I could. I'll, I'll play another short one. Let's see what this one is. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I, I think that was a sub clip. Right. I think. Let's just get right to the point. <laughs> mm, smell that? That's donation smell. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, man. These, these were much simpler. Yes. Simpler back then. Right. But they were still brilliant. I mean, you, you have to understand, like, as, as a streamer, like, to have something so unique and so specific to your channel like that. It's That's crazy. God, man. And it was it was a revenue. Like if you had if we had signed a, if you had made me sign a contract saying brutal, I get 10 percent of your revenue shares for every time a donation gets played with my clip on you. You would be hundreds of dollars richer. I mean, hundreds. Right. <laughs> right. Hundreds. Yes. <laughs> no, these were so much fun to do. I just remember like it was a blast because I, I edit for a living now and, right. and do voiceover stuff. Right. But this is like just like fun, you know what I mean? Like being able to put music and sound effects stuff with it later, or just getting in the booth and just recording something. Of course, it was a gas, man. Now let me let me check. Let's see. This was a uh, this was 2015 when you sent these to me, I believe. Now wow. I have a folder called 2016. So this is a year later. Okay, this is this is version two, round two of yeah. Sounders. Okay, you've heard you've heard a few of the. Of the you know very first ones. Let's see. Let's see what round two sounds like. Now, here's one called "Beard of Love." Behold the hairy, crustaceous beard of love. Let it wash over you. <laughs> no Perfect. music. I didn't know what to expect. Right. No music. Yeah. Still simple, but but a great message. Absolutely. A great message. Absolutely. For family and friends alike. Yes. Absolutely. Now here's here's one I think I think I know what this one is. This is my personally one of my favorites, and I'll explain why after I play it. Taco Cat spelled backwards mm -hmm. is Taco Cat. Thanks for the donation spelled backwards is I really don't know, but thank you nonetheless. <laughs> yes. And you it's can hear I the actual confusion <laughs> in that moment. Like real confusion. I mean, there. did you plan it out, or did you, were you just right. rolling with it? I think I was just riffing, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I was just, just in it. But you can hear the absolute confusion of what the heck do I say now? Well, I, I, I remember, I remember because so I don't remember all the specifics, and that's true. That, that's just not how my brain works. But I do remember vaguely shooting you an email saying, "Hey, I have this T-shirt." It says Taco Cat spelled backwards is Taco Cat. And then it was an, an image on the t-shirt of a cat in a taco, or the, the body of the cat was a taco. And I'm like, oh, that would make a really good sounder. Coltrane could do something with that. So I sent you the email saying, could you please make me something with this in mind? And I got that back, and it was just an instant, like, top three of all time for me. Just fell in oh love with it. God. I still have it on my channel. It still plays every once in a while. And it was, it was, it's, I don't know. It's just every once in a while, something comes across your desk and you're like, that's it, man. That's that awesome. is it. Now here's, that's here's funny, one. Dude. Here's another one. The, the, dude, you had some bangers here in 2016. Here's another one. You ready for this one? Ready? This, this is a good, I'm serious. Here we go. That donation was like sweet Murloc soup. My gurgle, gurgle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> right, right. I'm like, <laughs> McGurgle, McGurgle, gurgle. Them Murlocs, I'm man, they're, they're quite passionate. I'm laughing harder at that one than the Taco Cat, but I. I <laughs> That's insane. I remember that. This is so <laughs> crazy for me, man. This was years, 2016. Yes, we were, we were, but children. All we were, we were so ago. young then, so young and innocent oh, and pure. <laughs> McGurgle, oh McGurgle. my god. Now here, here's one that I haven't thought about in a long time. And for those that have been around for any amount of time, you'll remember that there was a short-lived series before it just we just couldn't schedule it anymore of myself, my wife, and my three sisters all playing WoW together, running the five of us. So I was a tank. Right. I think someone was a healer and the other three were DPS. And Coltrane decided to make some sounders. And the sounder is called uh, Brutal Babes. So here we go. Let's see what this one sounds like. The Brutal Babes are drunk. <laughs> it's party time. Right. Dude, those right. videos were so much fun. Yes, because the wine was flowing. Yes. I remember that. There yeah, was a that... lot of wine being consumed. Yes. 
dude, my sisters are, I, I can't say winos because that, that's way too strong of a word, but they love wine. And hilariously enough, okay, so I don't drink alcohol. I don't know if that's strong enough. I mean, they were hammered. They, they, were, were, dude, they hammered. were They were out of it. I agree. I'm not an alcohol consumer, uh, but I, I referenced to you, I think it was before I started recording that my sister from Brooklyn visited me for Christmas a few months ago and they brought, yeah. they brought like their two or three, their most favorite wines of all time. They're like, listen, we're going to, we're going to find you. We're going to find you a wine that you love. And the, so they, they poured me a small glass and like, Ooh, no, that's too sour, too bitter. And they poured me the other one. Mm, no, that's, that's too bitter. No, no. They poured me another one. Mm, nope. That one's also bitter. I'm just not a wine guy. Just not, it's just not for me. Right. Just I didn't, just, didn't tick it, over. No, just didn't, didn't happen for me, but man, they do. They love their wines. I tell you what. That was a great time, though. I remember that was a fantastic stream, man. Like, the yeah. energy was great. They were I laughing. So they were fun. having a great time. That was a yep. great, great stream. Yep. That was so much fun. That was a great event that you, that you held. That was awesome. Now, we're moving forward in time to the latter half of 2016. Do you... I'm putting you on the spot. Do you remember mm. what happened in the latter half of 2016? I, I uh, don't know if I can share that on the air. <laughs> but I don't think that's what you're referring to. So go on. We had our first kid, Isaac. He was born in yes. August 2016. I think like he was born August 24th, which was like four, three or four days before Legion launched. And um, you made some sounders specifically with the baby in mind. So I think, I think this is where the music and stuff starts kicking in. So let's, let's listen in, shall we? It's donation time. <laughs> baby donation. Thank you for donating to my daddy. That's one more taco for me and more spicy ranch in my diaper. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, okay, you say something first, and then I want to I want to mention something as well. No, I just remember right because right, right. Yeah, it was it was the it was like let's do a whole slew of like baby donations, yes. you know? And and that's what's like baby donation, <laughs> right? That, yeah, and I, I think I also did, like, there was one in there that, that you felt was inappropriate. I did one with, like, Snoop Dogg. Mm hmm Where, yeah, like, remember. it was your wife was pregnant, and then that the baby was was smelling some Colombian Bam Bam or something. <laughs> it was like, you know, I don't know. It was I can't play that like, on my channel. This is a family friendly stream. What are you doing? Exactly. Man? Yeah. It was like for this, like, Snoop Dogg music. Like, what are you doing? Coltrane, are you out of your mind? Oh, well, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Yes, but what were you gonna say? So I remember when you were making these donation clips and these oh these um these sub clips and whatnot. You sent me the first um iteration, the the, the first um version, whatever, and I played it, and I was like, oh, I love it, I love it, this is fantastic. And I'm pretty sure, if I'm remembering correctly, I pretty much immediately uploaded them to to the channel to my stream, and someone donated because I of course I always advertise when I get new sounders because it generates revenue. That's just how it works, right? So I'm like, hey guys, I got new Coltrane sounders. Every single time you donate, you have a chance to unlock one of the new ones. And someone donated, and it scared the literal pee out of me because it was so loud, and it goes, ah, baby donation! It was just so <laughs> And that's why I had you put the intro of um, uh, It's Donation Time because it, it was a smooth segue into that really ah! moment. <laughs> Dude, right. it scared the crap out of me. Every single time a donation came through, I about peed my pants. Oh my god. Because that, that sound effect of the baby going, Wah! it's so startling. <laughs> it is. Yes, I do remember that. I do remember you asking me, can you add, it's donation time, <laughs> like at the top of it, to, to kind of ease you into it. You give me a heart attack every single time, and it was nuts. Oh. Okay, let's see what else we got. Latter half of 2016. What do we got here? Hold on. Uh, okay, here's here's this. I don't know. I actually don't remember this one. That could be either a good thing or a bad thing. Let's find out. It's donation time. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's about it. <laughs> Maximum effort. <laughs> yes, I say really. Uh, Maximum really, effort. Really, really putting it uh, putting together for that one, didn't we? <laughs> that took months. That took months. Hey, you know I how many times wanna... <laughs> I focus group that. Oh, I just, I just want to remind yeah. everyone, Coltrane never, ever accepted payment for these. So whatever came across was more than I could ever ask for, right? I, I, so I don't in, ever... In that context, what you're saying is, don't worry, chat room. Don't worry, audience. <laughs> I didn't pay for that. 
That's literally what you're saying right now. Don't worry. I didn't pay a dime for that. That's what you're explaining <laughs> to everyone right now. And you're right. I did. I never charged a dime. Oh. Thankfully, because listen to what you just heard. Can you imagine? <laughs> right. Yes. I agree. I agree. Oh, my God. Yeah. Maximum oh. effort on that one. I'm, listen, I'm sorry. I didn't mean I didn't mean to upset you. I'm sorry. Oh no, that was a joke. That was a joke. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think the next, I think the next folder I'm looking at here says 2019. So we're looking at it. There's got to be something Ooh. in between, but I don't see any folder labeled like 17, 2018, anything like that. Let me let me just double check real quick. You know, we're we could edit this out if we need to, right? No big deal. We're good. We're good. Oh, there's oh there's the Snoop Dogg one. Uh, should I play it? Yes. I just want to <laughs> hear it. You don't have to put it in. <laughs> All right. Oh, th it's either this one or this one. It's either Brutal Baby Rap or Brutal O-D-E-C-A-D-B-Y. <laughs> Let's see what this one is. It's donation time. I shut them down. Thank you for donating to the O-G-E-C-A-D-B-Y. The original gangsta eating chalupas all day booyah. Yes. I don't think that's it because I'm pretty sure I played that one multiple times in the stream. Right, that one was not illegal. I don't, <laughs> I don't think that was it. Let me see. I s okay, hold on, hold on. I love it's that donation time. That donation was so big that it deserves the Taco Bell rap performed by Baby B. I need two supreme tacos and hold the sour cream. It makes me vomit. It's an ugly scene. A chicken quesadilla and a taco salad too. This is how we do up in the drive-thru. I need a spicy chicken double-decker chili cheese wrap. Large Coke bottle of water. Don't forget the cap. Baby brutal. Keep it a real of a feel, all right? All right, that wasn't it because that one's amazing. That one played a bunch on my stream. <laughs> the baby wrap, right? Okay, two, th two things about that. Two things about that. Number one... Uh, do you know the one thing that bothered me about that rap that I, I don't know if I ever mentioned it to you, but I could never ask you to fix because it's just too good otherwise? No, what was, what was it? Taco Bell doesn't serve Coca-Cola products. They're a Pepsi company. Yes. Okay, so let me ask you this. <laughs> you told me that someone in the chat room pointed that out, but it was actually you? <laughs> So were you blaming some random person in chat, but secretly it was you that was upset? <laughs> I don't remember that. Is that what it was? <laughs> I don't Because remember. I remember you told me that. You go, you know, the problem is, man, and, and chat pointed it out. It was chat. They, they don't serve Coca-Cola products. They serve Pepsi. <laughs> oh, wait. No, no, no. It was, it was another sounder where I said, it's this, this, and a Diet Coke. And, and you were like, it should be a Diet Pepsi. I remember that. Anyway, just, that was a long I'm time sorry. ago. I can't compose myself. I'm sorry. I'm oh sorry. Oh, my gosh. I'm falling apart of the This is so from the past. See, see, for the audience, this is how Brutal and I would fight. We would argue about <laughs> Coca-Cola and Pepsi products. It was, it was super intense. The, the second so thing funny. about that sounder is everything that's listed in that sounder probably came out to like 15 bucks back in the day. It'd be like $55 now. I have been priced out of Taco Bell. I yeah. cannot afford to eat a Taco Bell anymore. It's nuts, man. Yeah, yeah. I went to lunch today. I had a chicken sandwich <laughs> with fries and that, that my wife and I split, right? She got a side salad. I got fries, two drinks, 28 bucks. Oh $28 is... for a grilled chicken sandwich. <laughs> it's insane. $28. I literally laughed. I was like, ha, no, seriously, what's the actual amount? Like when the guy told me, oh I was like, you're God. hilarious. I can't. It's nuts, man. So here, here's, here's, a, here's a quick trick. So uh, if you ever go to McDonald's, open yes. up the download and use the McDonald's app on your phone. They have a once a day 25 to 30 percent off coupon that you can apply to any online order. So if you're really pressed for, oh. you know, push from press for money or whatever the, the phrase is, you can save yourself about a quarter, a uh, quarter of, of the uh, 20 percent, 25 percent of the orders. What I'm trying to say. So I, I know that because uh, before I had to stop eating gluten. Yes, uh, we would go to McDonald's. God. 
all too often for Isaac and his chicken nuggets. And I would I would yes. get a Coke and I would get a you know I would get chicken nuggets myself, but I'm telling you, man, it save it saves a lot of money. So I'm just I'm just, just pro tip. Pro so tip. We can use a coupon to get it back down to the price it was yes. like five years ago. It, more or less. It, literally, literally, yes, more right. or less. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. doesn't make it yeah. free, Before but it does make pandemic. it pandemic. Pre pandemic, yes, of course, of course. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna shift gears real quick. Are you ready for this? Yes. I'm gonna put you on the spot. Are you reading any books right now? Are you a reader? Yes, I am. Oh. Yes, I'm actually reading The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Really? How crazy is that? That is And by the way, it's taken me three months. I'm still on chapter one. The amount of times I've had to reread. Is this English? Kidding. (laughs) I'm, I'm an incredible reader. No, no, I actually have started reading again. I read when I was a kid, right? Sure, when you're sure. a kid, you've got all this time. As an adult, yeah. somehow time goes away. Yeah. So I've started back up, so I wanted to start with a real light one. You know, a real <laughs> easy book to start. The Hunchback you, of Notre Dame. Have you read much in the past few years? What's your favorite book in the past three to five years? Uh, besides Taco Cat spelled backwards as Taco Cat, the story of Brutal? That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Now, what, what, what do you have in mind? What about you? Um, I've only recently started getting back into reading, and a lot of my um, reading, I'd say about half of my reading, takes place in the form of an audiobook. Uh, yes. I, I, I that's go to cheating, pick up the kids. That's fine. It, it, I know. I go to pick up the kids in the afternoon, and while I'm sitting in car line, I listen to an audiobook. And so I've, that's I've not listened. Reading. I'm listening to. I'm sorry, that's not reading. That's listening. (laughs) I said said about half. All right. I'm either reading at night. I'm either reading a physical book at night. Okay. Well, okay. All right. All right. Or I'm in car line listening to a book. But some of the stuff I've listened to and or read in the past, let's say, three years. I finished the Wheel of Time series. Nice. There's 14 books in that series with a 15th book as a as a prequel. I read all of them, baby. All of them. They're really. They're really. No, I read all. <laughs> oh, you read. Okay, sorry. All right, sorry. I thought you listened to all of them. Listen, right, you read man, all of listen. Them. All right. Uh, that's impressive. I, 14. That's huge. I listened to the first three books in Old Man's, Old Man's War. I can't remember author names. I feel, I feel bad because it would be easier if I said the author name and then the book series. Um, mm-hmm. I read A Demon Haunted World by Carl Sagan. That was a great book. Yes, I'm, I hear that's great. I'm currently reading the Hyperion series by whatever his name is. Mm. Um, oh God. Okay. Real quick. I know this is totally off topic and I, I, I'm doing this purposely. I want to kind of interject some random crap in here just because I want to. Um, if you, if you, if you can Coltrane, you have yes. got, you've got to listen to an audiobook um, called, well, it's, it's a book series called the Bobiverse book series. Right now there are four books. The author's currently working on this fifth book. The uh, narrator for the book Ray Porter. God, man, he kills it. And he also narrates Andy Weir's um Ah, crap. The the I'll probably remember the name of it in a minute, but uh an Andy Weir book too about um a guy in space and all that fun stuff. I can't remember what's, what's yes. it called. Project Hail Mary. But those books are the Bobiverse books are probably some of my favorite books of all time. They're they're so good. Anyway, you know I didn't in- interesting about audiobooks, by the way is like. that there's a big problem in the audiobook industry. It's much better mm-hmm. now. It's getting better. But the issue is supply and demand. There's an incredible amount of supply, all these books that have always mm-hmm. been written, and mm-hmm. there's an incredible amount of demand for audiobooks, for, or, mm-hmm. I'm sorry, audiobook narrators to have them mm-hmm. read. Sure. So Audible created a website called ACX, acx.com. You go there, and as an author, you can go there to submit your book to have it read. As a narrator, you can go there and audition to be a narrator for books. And oh. basically, it's run by Audible. And the idea is trying to get more books in audio form. Sure. And, and you can audition. And, and it's kind of a way, uh, it's, it's an amazing intro for anybody that's interested in getting into audiobook narration. Um, that and, and big publishers work with it as well and all that stuff. And it's a great way to kind of get your foot in the door. So if you're out there and you've been interested in trying audiobook narration or That's if you're me. an author. Me. Yes. Me. Then, brutal. ACX.com. <laughs> ACX.com. And, and a guy I actually studied with because there was a point where I was actually interested in getting into audiobook narration. Um by the way, do you want to know the two? Well, no, I should. This is a family-friendly channel, so I won't mention the two <laughs> most popular 
uh, subjects in uh, <clears throat> audiobooks. I will not mention that because this is a family-friendly channel, but you might be able to guess. <laughs> thriller and one other particular genre. Children's books. I, yeah, children's books. Sure, <laughs> sure. It's uh, so Actually, narrators have a stage name for that other category. So I had one. Uh, it was the, the oh, name oh, of my first God. dog in the street I grew up on. Yeah, But, gotcha. uh, but anyway, yep, we won't yep, get into yep. that. We won't get into that. <laughs> but um, you should look into it. And a guy I studied with was a guy named Pat Fraley, uh, okay. P-A-T-F-R-A-L-E-Y. And he's got a great website, patfraley.com. And he's got a section called Free. And he's got great tutorials on how to get into audiobook narration, how it works, inflection, tone, shifting characters, Awesome, awesome stuff. And also does an amazing job with one-on-one -on -one instruction as well. So That's cool, um, man. If you're looking to get into it, man, acx.com, start there. Or if you're an author, it's amazing. amazing I can't even resource. imagine how saturated that market is, right? Like that, to me, that's Huge. the thing. Yeah. It's, 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 because and, and, nowadays, and, and, go ahead. I was going to say, and, and the same thing is true for basically anything like uh, Twitch, YouTube, TikTok. My wife is a t uh, used to be a teacher now. She's a curriculum designer, so she makes like um, uh, the the stuff that teachers use in the classrooms. And she oh, used to use awesome. a website called Teachers Pay Teachers, which is where you can design and sell lesson plans directly to teachers. And that's that's a market that used to be really really profitable for people, and now it's just super saturated. So I can only imagine. But I got like audio work, voiceover stuff. I would voice acting god i would love to do it man but i just don't i just don't even know where to start hey great great plug for acx.com it's good yeah, check it out man amazing stuff i got another friend that's looking into it as well and it's it's a great website great resources a lot of great tutorials there and you don't need all this crazy fancy equipment you really right. don't um and there's certain levels and requirements that you need to meet but it's nothing too crazy and uh and and there's such demand for it um that you know uh, who would be really good at audio right uh narrating books hmm. you <laughs> well thank you Bruno. i feel like you i feel I like you really have the voice that. for it you know <laughs> i don't know i'm not with the uh that uh cookie monster song i don't know about <laughs> that with the cookie monster maybe not i that's a little scary, but uh, yeah, way, no, if, uh, it was something I was looking into at one point. So, if I might, anyone might from Audible ever point. hears this, we, we need we need a little kickback, right? We, we that was a nice plug right. for Audible. Need a little kickback, all right? There you go. All there right, you go. Right. Work Speak, it. Speaking of, uh, of of risky topics and whatnot, let's listen to this sound. Are you ready? It's donation time. Thank you for donating to the sexiest, beardiest, brutalest taco in all the land. <laughs> Yes. yes. Dude, some of these are just so good. It's just facts. It's just facts. <laughs> it's just what it is. I mean, that was easily, I mean, I, I knew exactly what to say. The muse, I mean, come on. It's brutal. It's you. It's you. <laughs> of course. I don't, I don't recognize this sounder based on the title, but I'm going to play it. And I'll, I, I, I guarantee you I remember all of them, but I don't recognize the title. So let's see what this one is real quick. It's donation time. For some reason, oh, Brutal yes. reminds me of playing pool. Not sure why, though. Cue ball. Go on a pocket. Yes. <laughs> sorry. That's some low-hanging fruit. I there. take great offense to that, sir. Great I'm offense. I'm sorry. That, that was some low-hanging fruit. I apologize. That, uh, yeah, that, I, I don't know what happened there. That was, I, I blacked out. I blacked out while I was making that sounder. But some nice jazz music, though. I mean, a little jazz. Yeah, I, I, mean, I love nice. jazz. God, sometimes I'll just turn on jazz and one of my kids will wander in and be like, what is that? And I'm like, hey, 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 hey. Don't hate on jazz, all right? I love jazz. That's the real stuff. And I'm glad I'm that you, funk, you know what? Start it in the house. You know what I mean? You're, oh, you're planting those seeds. You you're want to okay. those seeds. Off topic again. Do you, God, sometimes I hate how spoiled my kids are. Let me give you an example, okay? <laughs> I yeah. drive the kids to school most mornings. I pick them up most days. It's just the, that's just what works for my wife and I. I love my kids, blah, blah, blah. And we got into this habit. We built an, uh, a Spotify playlist for the kids with all kinds of different music. We wanted to introduce them to different types of music. And we wanted to make sure they had soundtracks and, 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 and songs from their favorite movies and whatnot. And I, every single day, every day, it used to be awesome. Every day I get in the car with these daggum kids. If I try to turn on my music... Can't nope, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Right. They ref right. they will they will jump out of the car 
if I try to play any of my music, man. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's their music or no dice. It's it's bad. Right. It's bad. Well, I mean, they are in charge. Uh, yes, I mean, it's awful. Right. God, God, man. It's kind of rough. Now, what is on your <laughs> playlist? Is it is it jazz? Is it 80s? Like me, my 70s? playlist personally? Is it rock? A very, a is very it hardcore uh, rap? eclectic is that is that the right word there Ooh. very much i'm all over the place man I, I i love i do love now i don't play jazz in the car normally i'm much more of a yeah. at home in the comfort of my office playing jazz through the speakers and whatnot but yeah i mean Ooh, my wife and i we play smooth. music from all different eras and all different genres and, and whatnot and kids want nothing to do with it man it, it could be rock <laughs> it could it could be it could be rock it, it, it could be alternative rock it could be all kinds of different rock but i just don't care man they just don't care. Yeah, uh, Isaac, my um, my my seven year old son, he fell in love with this artist called Shepherd, who does I don't even know what kind Shepherd. of music it is. Yeah, if you uh, if anyone out there looks up Shepherd on Spotify, they have multiple albums, and Isaac loves their music. And Savannah you know just likes what's that? Well, I just gotta say real quick, brutal. That's mm -hmm. how long we've known each other. You just said Isaac was seven. I know. And man. a little bit earlier, we heard the baby donation. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Seven years ago. Seven. Seven and a half. He's almost eight. Wow. It's crazy. That's amazing, yeah. man. That's Savannah amazing. likes the Trolls 3 soundtrack. That's her go-to right now. Yes. 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 Well, and, and, and that's the that, that's a new one, right? Trolls yeah, band yeah, together? Yeah. 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 And yeah. NSYNC came back. Dude, it was they nuts. Reunited. It's a good song. It's some kind of love. Some kind of fire. I won't sing it because obviously. But we turn that we, into a sounder. <laughs> Listen, if Cookie Monster can like get through the gate, you, you got no problems. Oh you're in. God. I'm just saying, oh, if that got the geez. green light, you're good. And by the way, <laughs> Brutal, for those that yeah. don't know, okay. has an incredible, incredible singing no. voice. No, no. I it's used true. to have I used it's to have true. an okay, borderline acceptable singing voice, but I haven't sung in 50, 60 years, and I've, I've I lost it, man. It's gone. It's gone. I was I was listening to Azeroth Public Radio. Um, I think it was episode two mm -hmm. uh, when you came in, and <laughs> as Brute the Gnome, and you you did the the song on the guitar about uh, these wings will fly again to Arden Wield or whatever you know the about the suit, and it was I it remember. was beautiful, man. Listen, that's because of all the heavy editing you guys did on the back end, all right? No, it was amazing. I just pitched your voice up to make you sound like a gnome. That's it. And it sounded it sounded gorgeous. It sounded beautiful. And we had like the harmonies with the choir in the background. Uh -huh. Like Charm helped us out with that. It was perfect. Uh -huh. And by the way, Charm, who is a professional singer, said you had a very, very lovely voice. Uh -huh. She goes, oh, he sounds great. <laughs> I was like, yes, he does. He's brutal. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. You got skills to pay them bills. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> All right. I'm just saying. You got a. You, right. you got a great voice. You got a great voice. We're we're moving. We're. You know what? I haven't really played at all. Actually, our sub sounders. Hold on. Let me. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. You ready for this one? I don't even Let's recognize do this one. Uh, again, these are titled a certain way, right? But the title doesn't always match the way that the sounder comes off. So let's see what this one is right here. Yes, thanks for the sub. Let's give Brutal's head a rub. I hear that one all the time. <laughs> People, that one is, was always consistent, right? <laughs> it feels good. It's a feel good. Oh, I know. That, that hold on. Here's another one. Hold on. Yes, you've got a prescription for subscription. <laughs> I'm a big fan of rhyming and uh, alliteration. And they don't always have to overlap, right? Like, I like alliteration separately or, you know, in, in conjunction. I also like rhyming. So anything like prescription, you know, and subscription, I love that. And uh, any anytime you send me something that just goes along, goes well like that, just, oh, perfect, man. We might have to do like a new, I got to write perfect. this down. We might have to do a new slew. Ooh. I don't know. Get the wheels turning. Wheels Ooh. are turning. Yeah, I, I took a big break. Um, not so much by choice, but kind of just had to during COVID and when, with, with sure. having the kids home more often and, and you know, oh, the yeah. world was falling apart. So my stream had to take a back seat for a couple of years. So yeah, we haven't really, I haven't really had much of a reason to, to go back to the well, but Hey man, I'll, I don't know what you mean. Like the pandemic was a breeze. <laughs> like, I mean, 
What? It was. I yeah, mean, you're no right. Drama there. I, it was. I shouldn't debris. be. I shouldn't be making. Shouldn't be making any excuses. You're right. You're right. Yeah, you really should. I mean, come on. I'm it was sorry. like a I'm worldwide. Sorry. Right. <laughs> right. Like, it's. It, it, it is amazing that you can literally say pre-pandemic and after pandemic, and everyone's like, "Oh yeah, Dude, yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. true." Yeah. Oh my god. And you know, it, we just hit a new year. And I find it hilarious that there was some comedian I was listening to. He goes, notice how no one is saying anymore, like, this is going to be my year. Like, you don't hear that anymore. <laughs> no, you don't risk it, man. No. Don't risk it. No, worth it's it. just like, ah, uh, yeah. All right. Happy New Year. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> moving on. ever since the pandemic. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. What a What a time to be alive. What a time. <laughs> Here's one I don't recognize at all. Let's see what this is. Ooh. Look at you, keeping it real with the greenbacks, sitting back eating apple jacks, knick knack, patty wax, give a taco a home. I'll stop. I'm I'm white. <laughs> Again, I I absolutely of course recognize that. The moment it starts playing, it's like, oh, of course that's the sounder. But the titles don't always. I mean, what those was titles the title of me. that? The, the title is brutal. Uh, underscore Don for donation underscore greenbacks and that that word is in the donation but it just didn't it didn't register when I, when I looked at the title so right I should have titled it I'm white that probably would have been better you would have got the I'll stop I'm white right <laughs> look I did my best all right with the greenbacks I, I, I did my best all right. Oh my God! All right, shifting gears. Can you tell us about your morning routine? Let's. I want to hear about Coltrane's morning routine. What do you do, and why? What's my morning like? Yeah, on on an average Coltrane or Coltrane center, center day. What what do you do in the morning? Well, I will tell you something, Brutal. I've had a bit of a life change recently. Oh. oh. Yes, everything's kind of changed. Okay. I, I I used did to you win, like. Did you win the lottery? No, I just you know you know what Rats. it was, man. I had this big Rats. revelation. Okay. I had this big revelation in about life, and that was this: I used to look for external things mm -hmm. to be happy, right? Meaning, if I just got this job, I'll right. be happy. If I just moved here, I'll be happy. If I just got this one thing, then I'll be happy. Mm -hmm. And then I had this revelation that was like, uh-uh, like, nope, like, I'm still going to be unhappy. I'm going to get that job and still be unhappy. I'm going to move to this location and I'll still be unhappy. I'm going to get this wonderful thing, this, this car, this, this toy, this, this game, this whatever sure. it is, and I'm still unhappy. And I had this massive revelation of like, I need to be internally happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need to be happy with myself and then branch from there. What makes me Coltrane? What makes Brutal happy? And then, and then it changed my entire outlook on life. Suddenly, in a weird way, work didn't bother me as much anymore because good. I was no longer giving it so much weight. So much of my happiness was built at times on work. You know, my boss, if I had a rough day, it put me in a bad mood. If I had a sure. good day, it put me in a good mood. But once I no longer gave it that much power and was more about my own internal checklist, my own internal happiness, it, it was lesser. So like, I had a bad day, I didn't care. Boss was in a mood, I didn't care. I was still happy. So it, it, it's this major kind of revelation. So now, my, my new kind of morning is I get up early and I actually I go to the gym. I started Ooh. like exercising. Like there's this thing that these doctors have been saying for years that are like, well, are you exercising? And you would always go, <laughs> no, like doctor, come on. Like, what, are you kidding me? Like, no way. And I've actually realized it actually does help. There's really? actually something to just getting up and going to the gym. Now, I'm not saying you need to like hit the iron, <laughs> you know, and like, oh yeah, man, I'm benching 250 strong. Check out my new <laughs> PRs, like, or whatever. You know what I mean? I'm making gains, bro. It's not that. But when you actually exercise or you just go for a walk, you know what I mean? It, it honestly releases like these endorphins. You actually feel better. And I know it sounds insane. It sounds counterintuitive. No, no, it, it makes sense. It really does. It, it, but it actually is real. You actually do feel better. And I find myself less stressed. I have less anxiety. I have less, I don't give 
work and stress and all the other stresses about of life as much weight probably because i'm so exhausted from the gym <laughs> that's probably what it is i'm just so dang tired but no it's like this weird um like you always hear it doctors yeah. always say it absolutely but yeah. then when you actually feel it when you actually do it then it's like oh like it actually makes a difference the hardest part is just getting to the gym yep. or getting for that morning walk. Just walk for like 30 minutes in the morning. Get some sun on your face. That fresh, oh, you know, that chilly air, like breathe oxygen. You know chilly what I mean? air? Yeah, well, you know. But it, it, it's made such mm -hmm. a difference for me. So, so now I get up early. I try and go to the gym in the morning, um, come back, have some coffee. And it puts me in such a good mood. And, and, and I never thought that was possible That's until awesome, you man. do it. It sounds insane, but, but, but yeah. So I go to the gym in the morning and, uh, and it's, and it's great. I come back, I shower, I have my morning coffee and then I go off to work and it puts, it just puts you, it's, it, it's changed my total perspective. It, it, it's I, amazing what it does. So there's something to this that doctors have been saying to me for years, but when you actually do it, it's amazing, but go on. Sorry. No, no, no. I, like, I'm giggling and I'm laughing hysterically through this entire... As serious and as real as this conversation is, I'm laughing because of your delivery. But, uh, number one, I just want to say thank you for sharing that and I agree with you. Number two, it's so... It's, it's just awesome to hear that you're, you know, feeling the benefits and you're experiencing the benefits and stuff. And, I mean, who would have thought that when you clicked on this video, you'd be getting some life advice... Coltrane about how to, how to how to turn that life around, baby. How to, how to get you get you get you going in the morning, man. That is it's, fantastic. It's, it's all about perspective and how you view the world. You know, like you're choosing to let work stress you out. You're choosing to let that coworker mm -hmm. who bothers you bother you. That's your choice that you're making, right? But if you don't give them any power, if you literally just don't care what they have to say, whoo! It's I just mean, a weight that. that Lifted. Weight is lifted. Yeah. Yeah. Huge, man. Huge. But but I, I found a little bit of exercise, and you you always hear it, and you're like, I was like, yeah, doc, okay, whatevs. <laughs> but when you actually do it, I'm like, holy crap, there's actually something to this. Like it, it's actually real. So so yeah, it's it's been great. But but what is your morning like? What what do you do? Mine. You've got the kids. Yeah. What is it? Just chaos? Like what's it going is, on? It is, man. It is. But it's 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 a little bit of a controlled chaos. So we have our phones alarm set for. 6.15, 6.30, and uh, usually roll out of bed 6.30 yeah. at the latest, yeah. and uh, head back to the kids' bedrooms, and we gently wake them up. You know, we have those, we have those lamps. You can, you can adjust how bright the lamps go, we, so we, we just turn it on, so it's just, just, you know, visible, just a little bit of light in the room. I remember back when I was a kid, they would, my parents would slap the light switch on. Get up! It's skull time! Like, that's go, Dak! Never. But we, exactly. we need to gently the covers off you. <laughs> right. Gently turn on the light. Hey, buddy, good morning. It's Friday. It's pizza day at school. Let's go. Who's excited? God, man. All gentle, positivity. Gentle parenting, baby. I tell you, pros and cons. Pros and cons. But no, it's so, yeah, well. I'm glad you're saying cons as well. <laughs> Yes, you know, I don't know. I mean, you're right. We were raised in a different generation, man. We were, man. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's, it was completely different parenting. Yeah, it it is, and and there really are pros and cons, of course. But it's one of those things to where we'll get the kids up, and then um, my wife uh, will sometimes make them, you know, pancakes and sausage. Sometimes they get a pop tart because oh. whatever, man. Who cares? Oh. It's awesome. But uh, we make sure that they either have food in their belly, or in the case of Savannah, because she's in pre-K, they actually give her breakfast in the morning in, in our in our um, district. And Savannah That's normally awesome. doesn't eat here at the house. She doesn't like it. So anyway, throw them in the car by about 7.10, and then we're off to school with whose music? Their music, of course. Let me remind you of that. Drop them off, yeah. and I'm back home around yeah. 7.30. And then I try to turn the stream on by 8.30 at the latest, and just hit the ground running, and... I tell you what, man. Between the hours of like seven thirty and two thirty, it's so calm. It's so quiet. Right. It's, it's just quiet. Yes. It's it's yes. pure bliss. You know, I'm I'm and painting that. this picture like I'm aggravated with my kids, and I, of course I'm I'm hamming it up a little bit for the just for the sake of the story and whatnot. I I want to make it clear. I love my kids. They are loud. They are chaotic. But I love my kids. So don't don't take what Absolutely. I'm saying as anything other than 
me just you know telling a story so to speak i i i, I think my what kids. you're saying is very like normal parenting it is right? absolutely I mean, like, it yeah. is a four-year-old and a seven-year-old they're crazy yes. but i do love like my kids. it's it's the hardest thing you've ever had to do but also the greatest thing you've it ever is. had to do you and know it was, what i mean it's, yeah. it's one of those things to where I'll, I'll pull up my phone and i'll see a picture of isaac when he was an infant right and it's like oh my god if i could just have him as an infinite for one infant for one day i would be so happy and then, yeah. but there's also like on the other side of the coin, there are there are moments and days where it's like I can't wait for these dadgum kids <laughs> to be 20 years old, and we're dealing with different problems. But I I always remind myself, or I remind my wife, it's like listen, we will long for the days of four year old and seven year old problems instead of 14 and 17 year old problems. You know, true. The true. the hardest the hardest the hardest days are are to come in in many ways. You know. Right, because then they're going to go through the "I hate you" stage. <laughs> they haven't hit that yet. Yeah, they're, right? they're going to they're going to go through. You know, hey, you know, my friend wants me to go to this party. Hey, you know, I got to learn how to drive responsibly. Hey, is alcohol safe to consume? Uh, you know, it's it's going to be all these these real big world problems that we're going to have to face eventually. So, right? Oh, isn't that exciting though? Man? It is. It is exciting? in some ways, but also terrifying because. I, I don't oh. want them to suffer, you know? I don't want them to, to have to deal with stuff, but that's kind of just the of process of growing up and, and learning. So, again, who would have and, thought and, you'd, you're you'd right. hear that's life advice, get, right? Right. But you're right, though. But that's how they get stronger, is it facing is. It is. conflict. It, 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 is exactly. how you... Go ahead. No, I was about to say, my wife and I, and we talked about this years ago, you know, when we first started having kids, or maybe even before we had kids, you know, it's one of those things to where we don't believe in removing every obstacle, because like you said... How are they going to learn? How are they going to grow? How are they going to understand how to how to deal with life and its problems and whatnot? But we also are the kind of people, easier said than done, I'm sure, because we're not quite there yet. Again, they're four and seven, but we have this philosophy and this idea of if our kids are ever faced with a situation or a problem, we want to make sure that we have built a relationship with them and built this rapport with them to where they can call us, text us, get a hold of us, no questions asked. If they could be anywhere doing anything. I mean, you know, other than murdering someone, you know what I mean? Like, hey, hey, dad, I'm at this party and, you know, something's happening and I'm not comfortable. Can you come, come get me? It's three o'clock in the morning. I'll be right there. And they're not going to get this big earful of, hey, how dare you? What were you thinking? Are you stupid? What's going on? How, I, I didn't yeah. raise you this. You know, that doesn't build that relationship that I want. So that we want, I should say. So anyway, we haven't reached that point yet. Four and seven. So. Yeah, it's 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 crazy, man. It it really is. But we we love They're our not couples. out partying and drinking at four and seven. Well, not that I know of, but you never know when the lights are off. Kids have the... changed. I mean, when we were that age, my goodness, <laughs> right? Yeah, hey, I just did this. We were thing. dropping Jaeger bombs into our diapers. <laughs> I, I just did this. Are you thing, kidding um, me? <laughs> this this little uh, mannerism. It looks like I'm giving a shocker right now. But there's this there's this trend right now to where. Uh, someone will record uh, like a Gen Z person and a millennial and they'll ask them to do certain things. And one of the things is answer the phone and the mannerism. Again, you can't see Coltrane can't see me guys, but the mannerism is like, you'll stick out your pinky and your thumb and it acts like a phone receiver, right? That's how we, yes, exactly. Whereas a Gen Z person will pick up what looks that they'll grip an invisible iPhone. Yes, exactly. Like FaceTime like this or hold it up through ear, whatever. And it's like, Oh my God, that's, it's so true. Like I don't, I don't think like that. I, I do this every single time, and it's just, it's so weird. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. We're, no, we're, we're supposed right. to be, we're supposed to be listening to a uh, sound sounders. You want to listen to another sounder? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I know you're right. We, I just enjoy talking to you, bro. Me too, like, man. We, I hope, I hope just people just like. It. Yeah, I hope people just like listen to his chatter. I don't know. Here we go. All right, here we go. Here, we go. I don't know what this one is. This one's called Top Donation. Let's see what this one is. Ooh. Whoa, ho, ho. That was the biggest donation to the stream. Well done, hero. That's one of my, if not arguably my favorite donation, because I have that one set in Streamlabs to tr like the the biggest donation over like a hundred dollars that audio wow. plays. So I know immediately awesome. the moment I hear that, I'm like, oh, <laughs> right. it's raining, right. baby. It's raining. <laughs> yes. Ooh. By the, the way, Benjamins. I always thought it was so brilliant how you had, because you're right, I would give you like like 10 or 14 new sounders. Yeah. And then you had them like, like, like you had to unlock. Yeah. Them. I thought that was so brilliant how you did that. It's all that, psychological, that, baby. Yeah. It was great. Like certain donation amounts would unlock a different sound. That's sounder. right. 
and, I got, bill, and you I got bills, man. I got bills. It was brilliant. It was so brilliant how you yeah. did that. And it got Told chat you, room all excited. Like, oh, we unlocked this one. We unlocked <laughs> this one. Like, and, and you would just have like the titles of them. And, and, and oh, it was just so great. It was great. <laughs> all right. Are you ready? Or, God, I feel bad for even talking about this out loud. But we're, we're about to hit the donation sounders that had the shortest lifespan on the stream. And they uh -oh. were the, the Shadowlands donation. I don't even remember any of these. Oh. Shadowlands specific donation sounders. So sorry. For those that don't know, Shadowlands uh, apparently yeah. wasn't that good of an expansion. Not many people liked it. I uh, don't know if that's, don't know if anyone knew that. Myself. But included. they had this cool lo fi music. Dude, they really did. I'm just going to play one at random. There's just, so I'm looking at it right now. There are five Maldraxxus donation sounders, six Kyrian, six Arden Wield. And there apparently there's a there's one called Murloc Soup and Taco Cat. I don't know. I guess you redid those for some reason. I don't remember why. And then three Revendreth as well. Which one should I play? Pick a zone. It's a lot. I know. You probably worked really hard on these, and they they maybe saw six months in the stream, and that was it. Ooh. Uh, just yeah. Just grab one, man. I, I, Pick I don't a zone. I, uh, Kyrian. <laughs> All right. I'm I'm doing Kyrian number four. Oh, a Kyrian donation. If you wish to join the angels of the Kyrian, you must consider what is the best tea in heaven? Hebrew. <laughs> what? what? Hebrew. Get it? Get it? Yes, Hebrew. Hebrew. <laughs> All right, here's, here's a Maldraxxus sounder. Here, let's listen yeah. to Maldraxxus. Here we, here we go. Save it here. Oh, a Maldraxxus donation. To join Maldraxxus, you need to be tough. Let me explain. Maldraxxus can kill two stones with one bird. <laughs> you, you probably worked so hard on these. and I, I, I mean, they, this they, was... <laughs> I mean, you can tell. I mean, this... I, I see what you got so many. I mean, my goodness. Is that like riding these on the toilet? This is unbelievable. Here's Arden Wield number six. Oh, an Arden Wield donation. So you wish to join the forests of Arden Wield? Then remember, you can always tell when someone from Arden Wield has had too much to drink. They won't stop trunk texting their axe. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You know what? I'm thankful these only had a shelf life of six oh months. I, I swear to God, I don't remember any of these, man. <laughs> I don't remember these either. <laughs> Let's hear another Arden Wheel. Another Arden Wheel? All right, we'll do, we'll do another Arden Wheel here. This is Arden Wheel number two. Oh, an Arden Wheel donation. So you wish to join the forests of Arden Wheel? Then remember, you will feel triumphant when you arrive. It's pretty much guaranteed that you're going to have a wood time. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so <laughs> sorry. I am so sorry. What yeah, I was, happened? I was so excited to get these, man. I, 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 I love getting new sounders from you. I was, I was so tickled. I really was. Oh my God! Right, here's here's Revendreth number one. Last uh, last zone we haven't heard. Here we go. Here we oh, go. Oh, a Revendreth donation. So you wish to join the vampires of Revendreth? Well, let me ask you: How can you tell if someone has contracted vampirism? They're always coughing. <laughs> <laughs> You're amazing. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? You're That's amazing. insane. The different the different accents really sealed the deal for me, man. I love it. Right. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, there were there were there were a lot of um whatever accent that was for Ardenwheel. I heard that all over the place in Ardenwheel. I mean there th that type of accent I mean, was Yeah, that's the in-game NPC, right? Yeah, there. Every every single time. Yeah, every NPC, every dryad, every tree oh. person. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect Absolute. imitation. Nailed it. Nailed you it. You could not tell the difference. <laughs> that could be I'm... the reason why Shadowlands was considered <laughs> not the greatest expansion. It was really the in-game NPC voices that really took people out. 
Did you play through Shadowlands? Like, did you stick around for all of it? Yes, I was. Dude, I've been through. I've been through. All right, I've been through Shadowlands. All right, I was there in the Maw. You understand? Through all the phases of the Maw and the oh my what was that God. dungeon that they had? The endless. You had to keep doing over Borgas. and over. I hated it. Borgath. Oh, yeah, I was there. I was. There. I when I came back for um, I, I, so I I took a break after the first tier of Shadowlands. After I cleared Castanathria, I'm like I'm. I love Castle Nathria, by the way. Mythic, yeah, mythic side of Nathria is one of the best mythic fights of all time, in my opinion. But there was awesome. just something that I just didn't enjoy the expansion at large. So I took a big break, and I was very unapologetic about it because I thought it was trash and blah, blah, blah. But when I came back about a month after Dragonflight launched, one of, my, one of the first things I did was I went back to the Shadowlands zones, and there was like an extension. There, was, there were either one or two additional areas of the Maw that I hadn't been through, and I wanted to farm the rep. And I'm in there farming the rep, and I'm just thinking to myself, I can't believe people actually did this for like six, six to eight months when it came out. It was, it was so, I don't want to say bad. It was just so boring, I guess. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just had a, a bad taste on my mouth because it was a Shadowlands uh, zone. Well, it was, I, just... I mean, the mall was literally hell. I mean, literally. <laughs> the fact that they added gameplay elements to make the gameplay even worse. The longer you were in the zone? <laughs> Dude, I remember when Shadowlands launched, I lived in the mall. I I conquered the mall. I do I, I'm not I'm not kidding. I used to min-max everything in the game. Yeah. And I when when I first hit the mall, I I had a group of people, shout out to Teddy Ruxpins and Gosu and anyone else who joined us. We would have we would all go to different corners of the mall. And we would wait for the, the rares to spawn. And we had, I can't remember all the details of how the mall worked, but we would be camping specific rares. We would coordinate, okay, we got to kill this rare, this rare, this rare. Then we'll, then we'll have a certain amount of corruption, whatever it's called. And then we got to go open this chest and take this portal. And dude, we, every single day, it was awesome. a min max adventure. And I remember eventually you could work it up to where you could sit in the mall for a much longer duration of time or something like that. But yeah, it was. It might be what yeah, drove you, me away from WoW. I don't know. It was it was pretty crazy. It was man. intense. You get picked up by the little birdie yes. people, and then the <laughs> eye would start getting pissed. <laughs> That's a rough expansion. God, man. What? Look, I, I'm I'm gonna put you on the spot. Mm. What do you think of the whole idea of the jailer being the guy who was pulling the strings the whole time? For Arthas oh, is this and the latest rumor. No, 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 not, not rumor. That's what, that's what the storyline said in Shadowlands was the jailer was the guy who set everything into motion with Arthas becoming the Lich King and Azeroth falling into darkness and so on and so forth and blah, blah, blah. Uh, a wreck, a big, big retcon, basically. Jailer. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of the old jailer. Me either, of course. Me either. Yeah, I, I, I expected. I think more. I, I thought he was going to be this one thing, and then I, then I, I guess he was. I, he's kind of a nothing for me. He was like, yeah. uh, and I think Blizzard just kind of like forget about him as well. Yeah, well, it was just. Yeah, was I mean, All right. when when they announced this new saga that ends, I guess the first twenty five years of WoW or whatever it is by the time it rolls around in twenty twenty seven, twenty twenty eight. I can't remember the time exactly, but with him wrapping up the story, I'm curious how they're going to. Do that like you know are they going to go back to hey the jailer had so maybe maybe he was a part of it but maybe he was deceiving you the whole time because hey he wasn't the big bad guy after all he was just saying that to get under your skin or saying that because he wanted to throw you off the the the, the trail or whatever the, whatever it is i don't know we'll see but wasn't a fan of the, the big retcon and everything like that was yeah. not a fan i think medicine's gonna be like who cares about the jailer forget the jailer <laughs> man all right forget the jailer no one cares about the jailer. I, 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 I'm actually. I thought it was brilliant how they announced the next three. I it agree. felt very uh, Avengers Endgame. Yeah. And if it was just the one, and it was like, well, we're going underground, subterranean. <laughs> people would be like, well, what? Who cares? You know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, oh, okay, great. You know, here comes the uh, Nerubian, You know, Beatles. More yeah. Beatles to fight. <laughs> but the fact that they did it, like, no, man, this is like end game like this yeah. is building to this and then building yeah. to this and then the final thing brilliant and and it got me and everybody else on board that to be excited for war i agree I, I got excited it it you know a bigger grander scale yeah for sure yeah. and I, and and 
Ian Hazakosis wearing the shirt that said "What sword?" Yes, I, I completely Brilliant. agree. Completely Brilliant. agree. Brilliant. We're gonna play this updated taco. I don't know what this is. It says "Brutal Donation Taco Cat." We've already heard Taco Cat. What is this? This is from 20, 2020 or something like that. So I think I know what this is. Uh, let's let's and I'll tell you what it, it is. Here we go. Yeah. Taco Cat spelled backwards is Taco Cat. Thanks for the donation spelled backwards is. I really don't know, but thank you nonetheless. Dude, that's some that's some slick music, man. So the the change was the music, and here's why. This is in 2020, right? Yeah. This was around the time when YouTube was really cracking down. Oh on yeah. The, on the music, on the copyright stuff, all the crazy, crazy. Yep. So I started asking you, what are some of your favorite donations? Yes. And I want to replace the music. I want to redo them with licensable, you know, free music. Yep. yep so, yep. so you're you'll be clear because I wanted to make sure that you were good to go and not you, to get in trouble. You were, you're the best. You're the best. Yeah, that's what it was. Holy yeah. moly! So that's why Taco Cat is on there. I think that was the first one. You're like, we have to fix Taco Cat. <laughs> like Taco Cat. That's number one. That's number one. So okay. yeah, that's what that was about. That's why. I just found the Valentine's Day folder, and this is this is sh this is unbelievable. Are you ready for this? How many how many Valentine's Day sounders do you think you made for me? Thirty-seven. 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 Wow. I don't know how long they are. They they see they're five hundred kilobits per uh, each. They're short. They're little bytes. guys. Yeah. Let's see, let's. I'm gonna I'm gonna play one. Here we go. Happy Valentine's from Brutal. You're like a bag of sweet tarts because you're as sweet as can be. Oh man, Valentine's Day just passed and I didn't have these activated. Oh my god, I can't believe I right. didn't. I, I forgot about them because again, it's been a couple of years. Oh gosh, it's been forever. Here's another one. Hold on, I'm gonna listen to this one. It's called Lottery Tickets. <laughs> that intro. <laughs> Happy Valentine's from Brutal. You're like one of those lottery tickets. You're a whole lot of fun. And I love you a whole lotto. <laughs> can I just say, can I just say, these are so much better than the Shadowlands sounders. I mean, it's, it's remarkable. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's really just this music. I mean, come on. It's Valentine's Day. Oh my God. Okay. I, I think we're, I, again, I could literally play hundreds of these if I really wanted to. Oh, here's one. Here's one. Uh, let's see if you remember this one. You ready? This is this is actually a cheer sounder for, for bits on Twitch. Let's see if you remember this hmm. one. Woo, those are some tig old bitties. <laughs> what? No way. <laughs> That's not me. I did not do that one. No, that is not me. It must have been AI. Someone Someone cloned that your voice. <laughs> Plugged That's, it into <laughs> Yeah, tick old bitties. Cause because it was about bits. It was bits. It was bits, people. <laughs> bits. Bitties. Wow. That that made it on air? There's no way that made it on air. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Oh, here's something else. So do you remember when you made um viewer specific sounders? Yes, I do. I do. Oh, yes. man. So for those that don't know, yes. we have we have viewers on this on, in the community that, that have been around for years. And Coltrane, um, every once in a while, I'd say, hey, can you make a sounder for this person, that person? Because they've done X, Y, or Z. And he did, looks like you did um, about, where's the number? About 16 or so of them. And a nice. lot of these people, I'm going to shout out some names. We have uh, Alakin, of course, Alavaria. We have I'm Not Druish. We have Late to the Par Late for the Party, Teddy Ruxpins, Versillies. A lot of people that are very familiar, or people are very familiar with. I, c I had to stop playing them because of the copyrighted music. You just referenced that a couple minutes ago when YouTube yeah. started, or Twitch and YouTube started cracking down on stuff. So I couldn't play them anymore. I'm going to play them. I'm going to play one or two of them now because they're amazing first and foremost. And, and I'm not I'm not looking to monetize this video, so I don't, I don't really care about that. So I'm just going to play a couple of them so you guys can appreciate just how incredible they are. I think the Alavaria one is actually I'm going to start with Alakin because I think Alakin's was one of the first one. And it's very bare bones compared to some of the later ones. So let's listen to Alakin. 
Big ups to Alakid. Thank you for always supporting the channel, even though you're going broke in the process. You gotta stop doing it. You're in real trouble here. <laughs> Alec, and, Alec and I are really good uh, IRL friends. He's actually driving through town on Sunday, and we're planning on having lunch with him. So he's he lives oh, a couple nice. hours. Yeah, he lives a couple hours north of where we live here in Florida, and he's. Uh, I say this not strictly because he's donated millions of dollars in the past, but he really is just a really, really good guy. So, Alec, if you ever awesome. if you ever watch this video, I love you, and uh, Aww, shout out, shout out. To I you love buddy. you too, Alec. <laughs> Big ups to Alec. All right, let's listen to let's listen to Alavarius. I think this is. Let me let me hear this one. Here we go. Here we go. Twenty four seconds. Oh, oh, Alec was only nine seconds. Alavarius twenty four. Here we go. Here we go. Uh oh, amazing person alert. Please welcome Alavaria. Yeah. An avid book lover, a seeker of knowledge. Her real name is Karen, but let's not hold it against her. Welcome to the chat. It's great to have you here. Q80's fade out. Oh my god. Yeah, that that, that one's that one's amazing <laughs> on every That's level. Awesome. Right. Yeah, that, that 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 of course reminded me. Like, I would send you, you know, three, four bullet points about each of you. Were saying this person, you know, loves this. They do this, blah blah blah. And Karen Alavaria, um, God, she. I'm not. I'm not kidding when I say this. She probably reads a book a day. Like, it's it's unbelievable. We, we were talking about books books a little while ago. She reads all the time. Yeah, and it's she nothing. actually reads them. Yes. Brutal. She doesn't <laughs> listen to them and then that's say not she true. read them. She listens. She listens. No. You know, that's actually a big discussion in the book world is if you listen to an audiobook, is it the same as reading an audio or the same as reading no. a book? I, I'm, I disagree. I think it, it is. Oh. It's you're oh. not you're not doing the same thing, but you're still absorbing the information, you're still no. enjoying the story. Not How dare close. you? Not even How close. Not even close. <laughs> you need to read the printed word. How dare you? Have you have a different type of focus. You don't right? even know so what you're your talking mind about. doesn't wander. You gotta <laughs> smell the book. You see the ink. You can just listen in your car <laughs> while you're waiting to pick up your kids. I'm just kidding. But I'm not. It's not the same. You gotta see the ink. Is that what you just said? Yes. You have to oh see the ink. You have to smell it. You think Tolkien... Wanted to be like listening while you're at a 7 Eleven getting a Slurpee? No. He wants you there with the music. Oh my room God. lit by candlelight, a little fire glistening as you read his words, his passages that he spent his entire life creating to give it that respect, that honor. <laughs> Not sitting in front oh of some God. urinal, peeing into a <laughs> urinal cake. You listen on your AirPods. You kidding me? All right, all right. That's, There's a major okay. difference there. <laughs> Do I? You understand now, right? You see the oh, difference now. Oh yeah, of now? course. Yeah, huge, huge. Right. Good. Of Good. course, of course. Last question, okay? Yes. What should I have asked you tonight, but didn't? Are they real? <laughs> yes, and they're spectacular. I watched that all of Seinfeld question. during COVID. I watched the entire run of Seinfeld. God, man. Did you? Yeah, the yes. whole thing. The whole thing. My wife and I are currently in the middle of watching um, New Girl. It's one of her favorite shows, and she, she finally, she's like, listen, you either watch it with me, or I'm going to make you watch it. So we're watching New Girl. So we're, I awesome. think we're three or four episodes into it, and it's, it's a, Jake Johnson's a hilarious dude. Holy crap. The guy cracks me I up I started as much watching as that uh, Masters of the Air. From the creators of Band of Brothers. Oh, man. Like, it's the new Tom Hanks, Steven Spielberg produced. Like, did you, you watch sure. Band of Brothers, right? So, no, uh, but I've always Ooh. wanted to because I've heard it's one of the best things that's ever been created. Amazing. Was it, was Amazing. it HBO? I think that's why. Yeah. That's HBO. Yeah, that's why, because I've never had an HBO subscription other than like one or two years for Game of Thrones. You know, like I'm thinking, ago, you know, with the kids four, seven years old. Yeah, I think that's about the right age. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Hardcore sounds, sounds, I'll World do War that. II. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, you know, you got to start them early. Mm, you know what I mean? True, like we're, we're true, talking about true. conflict, right? Blood and gut. Mm -hmm. That's how they learn. Mm -hmm. That's how they mm -hmm. learn. Yeah. But this one's much tamer than Band of Brothers. 
because they're flying airplanes. And then you've got the guy who played Elvis. He's in it. He's fantastic. Uh, Austin and, Butler? Uh, Austin Butler, yes, yes. In fact, a little behind the scenes, he started shooting this Masters of the Air one week after they finished shooting Elvis. Oh. And he actually had to work with a dialect coach to not sound like Elvis anymore. Yeah, because that was like a two-year process for him, the whole Elvis thing. Yeah. I, I'm probably exaggerating, years, but it was a No, no, you're not wrong. I think it was actually three years making wow. that Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And his whole voice, there's all these YouTube videos of comparing his old voice to his new voice. Mm -hmm. he, he completely changed his voice, but he That's just me. sounds like Elvis now. That's but, uh, but it's a great show. Uh, Masters of the Air or something like that. It's, Are you uh, big, it's, it's like, been so far. Do you watch a lot of TV? I I do. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I I love watching. Like so. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna switch from like. So you've got the Masters of the Air, the Band of right, Brothers, right, the right, dramas, right, right. right? Then you've right. got your comedy shows. But there's also a little bit of love for the trash TV. <laughs> All right, a little bit of the reality <laughs> show That's stuff, the guilty right. pleasure. I forgot right? about this. I'm talking a couple of quick hits. All right, I'm talking Big Brother, right, with Julie Chen Moonves, right. I'm talking Below Deck, <laughs> one of the greatest shows on television. Below Deck. Then you've got Below Deck Mediterranean. You've got Below Deck <laughs> Sailing Yacht. They're your spinoff. Of the spinoff. You're part of the problem, Coltrane. What are you doing? Yes. <laughs> you say that now until you start watching Below Deck. Then you'll get it. You'll be like, all right, this is kind of brilliant. No, no, no. I, okay, it's hold on, hold on. Brilliant. Listen, I have an app on my phone called, I think it's called Qed. No, Q. Like Q-U-E-U-E. -U -E -U -E. And uh, I, I track the shows that my wife and I watch and finish. So let me, I'm just going to read mm. some of the shows, okay? And, and tell me if you've yes. seen it and then give me like a, a yes or no or good or bad or whatever okay this is in no Ready. specific order okay succession yes huge thumbs up phenomenal the orville never seen it oh if you're a sci-fi slash star trek fan it's phenomenal it's phenomenal highly 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 recommend it's on i think it's on hulu and or disney plus i can't remember uh the bear great show thumbs mm. up very stressful oh, yeah. to watch though yes so stressful Crazy. that is not a relaxing show bluey <laughs> I don't. Is that is that Blue's Clues? No, it's blue, totally different. It's Bluey. It's oh no, yeah. is that a kids show? Yeah, yeah, it's a kids show. You should watch it. Oh, it's okay. amazing. No, I'm not. I'm not I don't have kids. You you should not still right watch now. it. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Ted Lasso. Oh, I'm the only person on the planet <laughs> that has not seen Ted Lasso. Comment below if you've never phenomenal. seen Ted Lasso. Give Coltrane a little comfort, all right? Oh, uh, yeah, help me out here. Help me out. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, I'm I'm scroll I, I have a thousand on here, but they're not all going to be on below uh, deck. Uh, do you have Temptation no. Island on there? <laughs> Did you see <laughs> Have you seen Brutal. Barry? No, but but I love that actor. Yeah, yeah. I hear he's I hear it's a great show. I hear it's it a is, great it is. show. It, it, I, I would say that it's probably not probably not my top five, but it's still a very good show. Um, um, speaking of a very good show, F-Boy Island, <laughs> season one and two, have you seen Brutal? Yes? 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 Brutal? It's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun, Coltrane. Yeah, no, it's been not, a so much. Fan, not, not so this much. Has been, this has been so much fun. Yeah. I'm so glad we did this. See, it's great because, see, you think like, oh my gosh, all these great shows and then like Temptation Island, Below Deck, and F-Boy Island. And if, listen, if it ends in Island, you know it's going to be good. That's how it works. If it ends in Island, gold. Gold. <laughs> gold. Temptation Island's oh, actually man. fantastic. I You're not going to tempt me. Oh, listen, man. Guilty pleasure television. All right. Every once in a while, you know what I mean? You just got to you know, turn your brain off, right? And watch some, some morons on an island, <laughs> right? Running around. It, it's fantastic. It's just great. It's just great. It's great. You know, Friday night. You know what I mean? You just relax. I can't believe you. Below oh deck. Tip, tip. Like, I'm not afraid to admit it. All right. No, you shouldn't be, man. Embrace who you are. I, I love it. I love it. We've all got that little guilty pleasure Absolutely. inside of all of us. All Absolutely. Right? Yes. Yes. M mine is listening to your sounders late at night and just giggling, giggling 
to myself. <laughs> yes, that's, yes. That's, my, that's my guilty pleasure. This was awesome, man. Thank, it was. This, this was a lot of fun, fun, man. It was great, like going the through this stuff. Memory it was, lane. It was, and you know what was nice about it is I remember that time. You yeah. know what I mean, and 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 having so much fun with you, and being on the stream, and and putting those in, and seeing the chat room, and 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 your excitement, everyone's excitement, and like it was just such a. I don't know. It, it seemed like happy days. You know what I mean? Yes, it was, I do. It was yes. Time. It was a different era. And like, you know, it's it's yeah. funny you say that because like, you know, I'm making this YouTube video. I still stream. Or I'm, I'm, I'm back to streaming, you know, at least once, if not twice a day, five ish days of the week. And it's great. It's awesome because I'm still be able to do that. But it's it is. It's not the same. It's not the same era. You know, it's not the same. Um people it's not the same game anymore and so on and so forth True. it's it's still great but it's different it's just it's 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 just different yeah. you know but the thing is though is that we can't hold on to nostalgia we can't hold on no. to the past we have to now create new memories yep new vibes new feeling that's right and that's what's exciting about life is that we're always going forward we're always pushing you know what yep. i mean in creating new moments with new people and, and and for your chat room new members of chat you know and 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 for me you know, maybe we do some new sounders. You know, maybe we uh, we pick mm -hmm. this train back up, man. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Don't threaten me so with a good time. This was so much fun to do. This was so much fun to do. It was just pure joy, pure joy. I mean, and, I've been laughing the whole time, so that's what things need to be. You know what I mean? You got to find those things in life that that bring you real joy and just make you smile and. And you know what? Everything else you bring just me off, real joy, you know? and I mean that, man. Thank you so much. Oh, you too, brother. You too, man. Seriously, this, seriously. This is a so love thanks for having me on. You. This was a lot of fun. This was a lot. Of no, fun. thank this you, man. Fun. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you for watching, Coltrane. Thank you for being here, and uh, hopefully, we can do this with something else sometime in the near future. We'll uh, we'll see what the cards have in store for us. Definitely. Thanks, Bruno.